هاي كيفكم ان شاء الله كلكم بخير اليوم ماي لايف از وذ نيكي شارب ام سو اكسايتد تو هاف هير مرحبا ان شاء الله كلكم بخير اليوم اللايف حقي مع نيكي شارب هي من اكثر من الاشخاص المشهورين من ناحيه ويلنس وهيلث في امريكا فالمقابله هتكون بالعرب بالانجليزي سامحوني بس انه هي امريكيه ما تتكلم لغه عربيه ترى ام سو اكسايتد تو هاف ان ذس لايف هاي نيكي هاي جورجس Hi, you're the gorgeous. Like I'm so, I'm so happy to finally actually have a dialogue with you. You're like my Instagram buddy. <laughs> oh my God, you're so. Cute. I know that's what I love about Instagram is it's you know we get to meet amazing people all, all across the world I that agree. we wouldn't normally normally get to. I know, I know, and like I I don't usually get dressed this much. I just had a photo shoot today, so this is why I I have the lashes and I'm. Oh, you look. You always look gorgeous. Come on. Oh, thank you, thank you. But it's so it's so fun, nice to finally meet you. Actually, a lot of my friends. When they knew that I'm actually meeting you, they're like, "Oh my God, Nikki Sharp! I know her." I'm like, "Okay, that's great." So you have actually quite a, the following in the Middle East. I love it. Do you know I? So when I wrote my detox program, I kept getting people asking, "Can you please translate it? Can you please come out and and cook? You know, do uh, cooking classes out there?" So when Corona ends, I will. Definitely be out there to to do all be the honest, things. You have like I'm gonna be your host. Definitely, we all would love to have you here. By the way, I, we I, actually are promoting tourism. We are promoting uh, people coming to Saudi. You know, back in the day, it was harder to come here. It was harder to get a visa. But now we have opened our doors to have everyone come and see the, the wonders here. Honestly, uh, especially in my city, it's by the Red Sea, and it's just a beautiful place to come and visit. Like honestly, I think you're gonna love it. I mean, sister, get me on a plane now. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> have you been on a? Have you been on a, to any of the Middle East before? Any part? Of the, uh, I have not. It's and I. I. That's the thing is, I can't wait to come. And I know that everything will will be magical. Just as you're saying, you know, like with followers, yeah. we want to meet me, and and I want to do cooking classes, and I want to explore it. I mean, it looks magical there. So yeah, yeah. So basically. As soon um, as I <laughs> I actually started following you after I had my son, and uh, I tried to do the detox, but I'm actually so not disciplined. <laughs> but I promise you, I'm doing it very soon. Um, so I want to talk about you first. I want to let's first start by giving a brief, like a lot of the followers, a brief about you. Um, who's Nikki? I know that you are you're from Colorado. You're a model, and uh, you had a very big journey with food. So let's hear more about you. Like I just want to give a brief about yourself. Sure. Yeah. So, for anyone listening who doesn't know who I am, I, I was a model for many years, and while I was doing that, modeling is definitely not the the healthiest industry to be in because you have to be very, very skinny. Um, and I just I never felt really good in myself and my body being really skinny because it it wasn't. I didn't like that. That's kind of what I was promoting, and so for my own health as. As I was not eating correctly, we didn't know a lot about nutrition. I, I ended up uh, getting into the health world. Just I needed to. I had terrible skin. I had insomnia. I was on sleeping pills. Doctors just kept saying, "Just don't stress so much." And you're like, "Oh my god, that's the easiest thing to say, but the hardest thing to actually do." Uh, exactly. And so I, I started learn. I mean, I was like a sponge for knowledge, and I was like. As much as I could learn about about health and nutrition, and a light bulb moment went off for me, which was, eat good food, feel good; eat bad food, feel bad. And it was like, and then the other thing I knew was when I came home and I was super super hungry. If I didn't have food in, and and I see your guys's questions, I'll answer them kind of throughout. Yeah, we'll this. answer uh, the questions towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I I I just realized I'm like if I don't have prepared food in my fridge when i come home i'm going to binge it was like simple as that and so i started meal prepping and then i started basically changing my mindset that exercise was no longer a punishment because we so often take exercise of like oh i ate too much and then it's like oh i go to the treadmill and so i had to rewire my brain and my thinking and and by doing that i then wrote this detox program which i mean went just wildfire across the oh, world yeah. and yeah people did it and so 
um, sold a lot of copies of that ebook in 2013 and then turned that into an app that became a, a number one app across the world and then put that into a book. I actually have, it's so funny, I, I have these here. So then I, I wrote um, <laughs> that guy, the five day detox, and then I wrote that one. So those are both amazing books. And, you know, it, my, my whole motto and everything that I do is I, I want to learn, but then I want to share that knowledge with you. And I, I, I just seem to have this way of being able to, to share knowledge. So it's really easy to understand because we're in a time where it's information overload. Right. Yeah. And, and so oh, that's so much. That's what I do. <laughs> like, um, I, I, know, I, I, I was reading a bit about you and did my research. Uh, so you started, you basically studied in color. You you're from Colorado. You, yes. you, you live the normal life. You ate normally, you ate junk. Uh, you ate a lot yeah. of meat. I was reading about that. Yeah. And, um, you, you fell into modeling and then you went to China and you yeah. lived in Australia and Korea. And like, you know what I, when I was reading about you, you made me, you reminded me of the book, Eat, Pray, Love. Like you went yes, to Bali yes. and, <laughs> and then you lived in Australia and London. I'm someone yeah. that's also kind of a jet setter. I travel so much. So I kind of like that lifestyle, but it's also very unhealthy when you're traveling so much. And I, I noticed yeah. from your story that like there were parts in your life where you mo first you were in China and it was very hard life. You were a bit lonely and then Korea and everywhere. And then you flew back to Colorado and that's when you started eating healthy because you had yes. the skin issues. So, and then in Australia, when you moved back to London, you started eating clean and the, the, your blog started like naturally just because you wanted to push yourself to actually be healthy. So tell us more about the, the, the traveling part and which parts of your life you felt like the skin, the, 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 you told me you had a lot of issues with your diet and your food. Yeah. So tell us yeah. how the, that gradually started. Absolutely. So one of the big things in the journey that I, I took and that I'm able to now share with others and, and help people through is that oftentimes like when we get skin, skin disorders or psoriasis or acne, you know, or with our body, we get really bloated or constipated or we're not able to lose weight or we get headaches, a lot of that actually starts in the mind because we're lonely or we're, we're unfulfilled in our life or, you know, whatever it might be. And so for, I, like when I was in China, I was just desperately lonely. I, I didn't know anyone, I was modeling and it's, it was such a different culture and I loved it, but then it was just like, whoa. And so as I, you know, as I went around the world, I really went on this inner journey to learn about myself. And, you know, that might sound like, oh, don't, you know, it's selfish. And actually learning about yourself and doing the self work is selfish, but it's the most beautiful selfish thing that we can ever do because until we discover ourselves, we can't truly show up with love for other people. So through all of that, like China, I had terrible skin, Australia, I went on Accutane or Roaccutane. Some people know what that is three times. The dermatologist. By the way, here, just to let you know, a lot of doctors prescribe it casually, but now it's stopped. Like, you know, it used to be very casually prescribed, but it actually causes yeah. depression. Yes. It's actually very strong. I've been on it and I don't even have acne. Like, I think back in the day, it was just like, you know, you have a little bit of zits, a bit of pores, you know, it's just take Accutane. Yeah, it's like a yeah. kind of all. Yeah. yeah. It's cr I mean, it's crazy. And, and that's what I started learning was that, like, with, I had insomnia and I did a sleep study in New York where I had electrodes connected to my, my mm. heart and my brain. And at the end of it, they said, y you know, you just need to stress less. You're fine. And it was the same with, um, with my acne where the doctor or dermatologist said, you might be one of, the, after three rounds at different ages, she was like, you might just have to be on it for the rest of your life. And I'm like, what? And so I, and then when I, when I was really go, I was going through eating disorders, the doctors just put me on antidepressant medication. And I was like, I'm not depressed. I, I don't feel good in my body, but I'm not depressed. Like I'm naturally a bubbly, you know, vivacious yeah. girl. Um, and so that's really what kind of led me into like the rabbit hole that I, I wanted to learn and understand like why we do the things we do and why the body reacts as such. And I, I managed to heal and cure myself of every single thing that I, I had of, of terrible acne to insomnia, to gainy, like I was not the size I am. I was overweight and to being desperately unhappy and yes, depressed and anxiety and, and all of that. And so 
I'm so passionate about helping other people now because I'm like, you don't need medicine and you don't necessarily need, like therapy I think is great, but it's like therapists oftentimes try to prescribe things or Accutane or, you know, yeah, all of that. And like, pills. For, it's always pills. Yeah, it's right. It's always pills. And, and we're at a point now where it's like, we have to focus on nutrition. We have to focus on what we eat. And, and I know like in the Middle East, I've had so many people do my detox and they, you know, I get messages of like, oh, this ingredient isn't available. And I, so I always say, make things work for where you live, right? Like if you're trying to eat healthy, there's going to be natural fruits and vegetables that are local to you guys that we don't have in the yeah, state. Exactly. And that's what you should be eating because if you're, if you're eating blueberries that have been imported, they're not going to be as good for you. Right. True. You, you, so, I also noticed that most of your focus is organic, non-processed foods. You're also yeah. vegan right now. You don't eat any meat products. So I, I call myself a V and I saw this question come up. Um, I, I call myself a vegan who cheats. In that, <laughs> and, 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 and vegans get really mad at me for that. What I mean by that is I'm plant-based. So I natural, I eat plant-based whole foods that come from the earth. So something that you would pick off of a tree or it grow, you know, it grows in the ground. Yeah. Am I, am I fully vegan? No, because I'm, I believe that everywhere you go in the world, you, we should learn of that culture. Like, the food you guys have there, I'm sure is incredible and amazing. And like Middle Eastern food is one of my favorite. And the, I always say the amount of love that goes into the food is more important than sticking to a diet. And like Americans yeah, sure. love to be extreme. So America, it's like, we're going to be keto and paleo and vegan and this. And by the way, it's also here. Like here is also, it? Okay. in Saudi Arabia, by the way, I'll give you an example. Like I'm from Jeddah, which is the portal city and everybody's doing keto or like my husband's on keto all the time and then yeah. this girl's on paleo and everybody's on like it started off with the hollywood diet then atkins then so i swear to you since my since i was like uh, nine years old you've been hearing these diets and then there's the the, the soup diet and the five-day craft diet like you know you have that uh, cabbage yeah. diet like you we lived hearing about these fad diets and i i read something that you said you're like i don't diet anymore and that you don't look at calories that you actually yeah. look at how colorful your plate yeah. is Yes. And it's something very interesting um, because I think most people nowadays, all they think about is the calorie intake they had and if they worked out and if mm -hmm. they can keep, and it's, it's not sustainable to eat, mm -hmm. to be on a diet every day because you're going to obviously cheat. Work in a, like I'm, I'm one of those people. And this is why having you on here. And the other day we had Yalda from Eat, Burn, Sleep. I don't know if you're, yeah. Yeah. So honestly, these, like she talked about inflammation and now you're talking about um, a lifestyle, not just dieting. It's so important for people to know these things because we're always still dieting. People say they want to be, have a lifestyle, but it's still a diet, yeah. which is wrong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. And so my, my motto on this is it's finding balance. Like I still, uh, I do still eat meat. I eat cheese, I, but I don't do it often because I know it doesn't make me feel as good. Um, I, I, I really try to live by the rule of, like I, I drink alcohol. Do I do it every single night? No. no, but it's, it's about finding balance. And the, the, the key there is that the moment you call it a diet, your mind is already restricting itself. And, and our mind is super powerful. We have all these subconscious beliefs that we don't, we don't know what they are. We know what our conscious beliefs are. And so like when I work with clients, people come to me saying, I want to lose weight. I want to get healthy. I want to feel more energy, you know, X, Y, Z. And they're always shocked. We really don't talk about food for the first like two sessions because we have to go into the mind because the mind itself is, I always say, what you eat has nothing to do with what you eat. And what, what I mean by that is your, your subconscious mind has already decided what you're going to do. And so you're, you're eating something based on these beliefs and so then the secondary part to that, that I say, and just roll with me here is what if this, the, the things we call healthy food, right? We're like, that's healthy. Yeah. What if we called that food? Our healthy food is now just labeled food. And the stuff that we now call food, we started calling toxic food. It would have an immediate shift because people wouldn't be like, oh, I'm eating healthy today. 
It's like, no, I'm, I'm just eating food. And the things that we call food, which is like the standard American diet, which is terribly bad for you of processed things and meats and, you know, cold cuts and all of this bad stuff would la be labeled toxic food, you would be less likely to eat it. So we've kind of put a stigma on healthy food, whereas what we need to do is put a stigma on the shit that we call food, yeah. you know? Does that make sense? Yeah, it does make sense. And one of the ladies here was asking, uh, does ve the, that vegan diets actually don't let you have your period? Is that true? I don't think so. No, not, not true at all. It's, um, it's, so being vegan, there's, I mean, a lot of different people say like, oh, you don't get enough nutrients. It's not true. Like, so being ve like mainly vegan now myself, I've never had, I don't worry about my protein intake because I know I'm getting enough from, from tofu or tempeh or, you know, edamame and beans and lentils and quinoa and all of the, and nuts and seeds and yeah. chia seeds, like all of these things. And I, my skin is clear. I wake up with energy. I don't need coffee. So the only time a vegan diet you need to start supplementing or, you know, you don't get enough is if you have a dirty vegan diet. And that means having fried foods. That means like macaroni and craft macaroni and cheese, and not that, potatoes, but you know, things yeah. like, like Oreos. Here's a funny thing. Oreos are vegan. Oh, Does yeah, that true. mean they're healthy? No, no, they're not. They're not. Right. And so when people eat a vegan diet, this is why it's better to go plant based and try to, inc and, and to make it even more simple, try to eat things that are colorful. That's that. And that's why I promote it so much. And I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll just show you guys this really quick. I'm not trying to like, this, this, I mean, I should be promoting my books, but I'm going to show you this so that you get that an understanding. Period was so if you're losing your period when you go vegan, then it could, it really just could be that you're not eating enough nutrients, right? It's it that's it's hard for me to say exactly what it might be. Um, I'll show so I'll just show you yeah. this quickly. Like you can see, there's all of these different colors, and that's that's what I promote is when you look at your plate. Sorry, I just. <laughs> um, if you, when you have your plate, have, have three colors and the more vibrant the colors, the more your body will respond. But yeah, in terms of like periods and things like that, it's, it is hard to know unless you actually, unless you actually know what's going on in, in the body and what you're eating. Okay, so basically uh, yeah. color for plates is what the most important thing. Um, one of the, uh, another thing you were saying that uh, you, you never do diets, as we said, uh, how, your intake of water, like how, do you do three liters a day? Do you have the water with lemon? Uh, I do. Do you do, do the celery juice? What's your opinion on that? You know, since you're, uh, since you're very um, knowledgeable in this field. So I do, I love juicing, but I love juicing as a supplement. I don't juice, like a lot of people are like, oh my God, juice every single day. I guess for me, because my baseline of health is already at such a good point, it's it's a little bit easier to, like I, I had a juice this morning, but I don't do it every, I do it more so when I feel like I need an extra boost. Um, yeah, celery juice in the morning is great, but so is cucumber and lemon and ginger. Like all of those are so powerful. And actually what's even better for your body is doing it into a smoothie because then you get the fiber, which helps to push everything through. And, and the, yeah. the fiber itself, which you extract when you juice it, that has more nutrients than the juice itself. So, and is it true that you, you only get the benefits of celery juice if you actually have the organic kind? No. No, regardless no, you do. Because no. I've heard that before. You so know, since on, the medical medium book, it's been such a fad and everybody says that celery juice is good, but it's not for everyone as well. Yeah, it's, you know, it's one of those things you have to find what works, but part of the reason the celery juice does work so well is the very fact that by having that, you're not having something else. And this, like, this is my detox. Why my, why the detox works is if you're going to take an ingredient out, you have to put an ingredient in. And so with celery juice, you're, you're putting an ingredient in, which is the celery, and it makes you feel good. So naturally, you're less likely to crave other things. 
and that's that's what makes these so good um how much water do i drink i actually have i mean it's a little i won't grab it but i have a one i was like let me just run to the back of the room um i i have a, a 1.5 liter bottle of water i try to drink two of those a day so oh, i drink three, between two, three. Two, yeah two and three liters of, uh, of water a day and that is i mean water is essential to the body. It's, it's water is more important than food. And yet we get into this, Oh my God, I'm so hungry. You know, I need breakfast. I need lunch. No, you need water. And I guarantee that if you're starving, it means you haven't had enough water yet. So the way that I, I say that is if you're hungry, drink a glass of water. If you're still hungry, then, you, then go eat, but always start with hunger equals equals dehydration. Yes. Um, yeah. And dehydration, we get we get migraines and headaches, we get fatigue, we get acne, we get bags under our eyes, we don't have energy, we don't sleep as well. Um, the other thing about a lot of people just don't like the taste of water. So what? You, and I I just posted a photo um, I think yesterday about it that you can add, you know, freshly cut lemons or oranges or throw some blueberries and basil in there because when something's colorful we're more likely to eat it or to enjoy it. Yeah, interesting. I wanted to ask you about your five day detox. Why did you say, why did you make it five days? And why not a week? Why not 12? Yeah. Uh, really, really, why? Because I didn't want to do something for more than five days, honestly. <laughs> I was like, when I was writing it, because I wrote it for myself, I didn't write it for anyone else. And I, I wrote it for myself and, um, and I, I put it as, I was like, I don't want to do this for seven days. Longer. I just don't. I was like, but five days, I can give a hundred percent for five and days. For five, too. And then when I wrote the plan and people started doing it, it's like, yeah, if you do it for seven days, you'll see even better results, but anyone can do it for five days. Anyone. And I wanted to ask you, what about people that have uh, high blood sugar or, for example, uh, cholesterol? Does this diet yeah. work or do you, you don't recommend it for someone with... It works no, I, I mean, if you have literally any sort of issue, like I have people with IBS or um, like I have IBS. Irritable, irritable bowel syndrome to uh, leaky gut, leaky gut to constant constipation, constant migraines whatever it is that you're going through, this diet will help because it helps reset your body to a state of alkalinity. So we have alkaline and acidic. And most people are, so about when you're at a level of five, that's when you're neutral. And most people are, are below in the acidic category. That's why we have cravings. That's why we, <laughs> our skin, yeah, that's why our skin I breaks out. Uh, I wanted to ask you, because you know about that, you talked about alkaline. A lot yeah. of people try to get pregnant on certain levels in there. You know, sometimes they tell you your body very, has very high alkaline. You need to lower it. Does your diet help with that? Because I've heard that a lot of women have issues getting pregnant with these levels in their body. And uh, is it yeah. true that this helps? A hundred percent. Because food, at the end of the day, food is food has the power to heal us. And it also has the power to make us sick. And so when you're eating really nutrient dense foods, like with this, the detox plan, you are flooding your body for five days with five meals a day. And that's the difference between my plan versus like a juice cleanse is you're eating food. So you have all the fiber. So you're not really hungry and like you feel satisfied. It, it becomes a lifestyle. And as you have all of these amazing nutrients, it helps to reset your body. It's then in an alkaline state. And it also helps to reset your mind because you're now sleeping better. And one thing that a lot of people don't understand or realize is that like in, with women trying to get pregnant, often there's so much stress involved of wanting to get pregnant and, and frustration that yeah. it's not happening. And the more that you're frustrated and upset and stressed out, it causes cortisol in your body. And, and that's like for women, we get it around the midsection and our thighs. Exactly. And so, yeah. and like, you know, it, pretty much everyone's gone through this, men as well. So when, when you have, um, you know, extra fat around the, your stomach area, that's, and you're dieting and exercising, that's because your cortisol levels, i.e. stress, is too high. And so women that are trying to get pregnant, like if you do my detox, 
you start to it, literally the mind starts to calm down the body calms down and it's food is one part of it water's another part of it but dealing with stress in the mind is, is something that we don't talk enough about and that's where a lot of weight loss weight gain like that's where the magic is 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 dealing with this our happiness yeah. levels and so that's what i try to do is i like infuse that in with you know the food yeah, that i see I that you do yoga things. you practice meditation yeah i've been following you since bali so honestly it's been uh, it's, it's it's i love watching you're one of the profiles i actually like to look at even if i don't see you on my feet i actually go and check it out and don't you hate the I'm algorithm like, you have a gorgeous <laughs> body you know i keep telling my friends look I'm going to lose weight at this point. I'm going to get well, there. I'll, I'll come um, there and I'll, I'll, I'll lead you through all the, the things, the yoga, the food. Yeah. I want to tell you something. Uh, regarding Buchinger, have you ever heard of Buchinger? Like the, the, I, I used to go to this fasting place in Germany where you, they do like extensive fasting for days. Do you believe in this kind of method or not really? <sighs> Because there's a lot of mixed reviews that fasting is very healthy for you over a long period of time. Uh, for yeah. five to ten days and that it's so, true, it helps with cancer and stuff like that do you believe in this concept or not? so yes yes and no i believe that it is very healthy but i also believe that when something like that that when you come out of it oftentimes it doesn't take that much to go back to our old yeah. ways So it's like, you're like, great for five days, I feel amazing. And then maybe you keep it up for a few days when you get home and then you slowly start to have alcohol or food or you don't sleep so well. So then you crave sugar and then boom, you know, you're back to. And you ruin you know, it in like another week and it's just back yeah. to square one. So it's not consistent. It, it's you not, try right. your pro consistency. Right. And, and my thing is I, my ultimate goal is to help teach you the the viewer the you know follower i want to teach you how to live your best life and never need to look at a diet book again never need to follow a diet never need to go to one of these clinics unless unless you just choose to because you're like I, you know i want a, a boost in yeah. my health but that being said i get all these questions about intermittent fasting so yes fasting is super super good for you there's two things to that though If, if anyone listening, like if you're interested in, in fasting, if you have any sort of issues with food, if you're scared of carbohydrates or you're scared of eating fruit because of the sugar, I do not recommend fasting at all. It's that to me is a, a, a big no, no. So the other side of that though, is if you're able to, let's say fast for start with 12 hours. So you eat at 7 PM. And then you eat at 7 a.m. And then see how you, and you first drink lots of water when you, like when I wake up, I probably drink a glass and a half, like a, a big glass and a half of oh, water. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my typical thing is I try to drink a liter of water before I even have one piece of food. N nothing more. Um, if you can do it, then naturally your body, you, the goal of fasting is to listen to your body. It's not about skipping meals. It's really getting in touch. So like some days I fast 15 hours just because I'm not hungry. Like I'm just, yeah. I'm just and, and the key there is I, I have enough energy to continue. And so, and then as soon as I start feeling hungry, I eat a healthy meal. But oftentimes what happens with fasting is that people start to fast and they get really, you know, like laser focused. I'm going to fast 15 hours. And then their first meal of the day is something really bad or they True. keep kind of binging throughout the day because they're so hungry. So start with fasting one day a week for 12 hours. If that's okay, do, do 14 hours. So like, you know, have dinner at 8 PM and then you would have breakfast at 10. But during that, you want to drink a ton of water. Of water. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and I want to uh, just, oh yeah. I was no, going to say, go I keep, you know, we kept getting a bunch of questions about. Yeah, I'm going to open them now. It's it. just that there's um, one really weird person that keeps writing in Arabic that we're not translating and he keeps flooding the messages. So even the, the followers were like, just close the comments just, yeah. because I'm flooding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so He's I upset that we're not speaking in Arabic and I'm just trying to explain that like you can't speak Arabic. 
<laughs> no, I, I'm sorry. I can't speak Arabic, but I love you all. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Uh, we get so, we get those people sometimes. Yeah, I know, right? I say, I, I mean, the trolls, right? Uh, yeah. So I just want to really quickly talk to celery juice and the medical medium. We did yeah. just talk about it, but that's my I, you friend know, Muhammad I, I, that actually asked. Yeah. So I and I saw there were a few different ones of the medical medium. Medical medium, it, he's Anthony. He's amazing. He is. He's really a godsend from you know from above. He is. He's super smart. The the main thing about celery juice and what I said before was. The reason celery juice works so well is you are flooding your body with nutrients, whereas you normally don't do that. So people that go on this celery juice diet, they are now being consistent about doing something. If you had celery juice once a week, you know, it's going to work. It's the same as working out. If you work out once a week, it's okay. But when you're consistent with it, it works. It's the same thing as like my detox. If you yeah. eat one meal from my detox every day, you're going to see huge results. If you have one green smoothie a day, you're going to see huge results. So his plan is amazing and the celery juice is, but part of the reason that it works so well is because people actually stick to it and commit to it and have celery juice every day. So if you committed to having lemon water every single morning, you're going to start seeing results. So I hope that answers, but yes, it's great. Is his the only thing that works? No. I mean, do my detox, do have a green smoothie, but I just wanted to hopefully clear that up a little bit. Yeah. I wanted to, your skin looks amazing, by the way. Really? So do you think this is just mainly the diet or is it just also, it's mainly the diet? It's, so it's the diet, it's sleep. Sleep is a huge, huge factor of that. Um, water as you're drinking. Um, I so, try. <laughs> so w water, sleep, and and when I say sleep, I mean you're going to. And I know everyone's different, but your body is naturally made to go to bed at ten o'clock. That is the. I, and I know in the Middle East that's a little hard because you know you guys have dinner a little bit later, but you do very not. Late. Want to, yeah, very very late. You don't want to be eating a huge meal before bed though. And you want to make sure that you're not on your phone scrolling right before you're, you're going to bed. So putting your phone away at least 30 minutes before bed, because what happens is the blue light from, from the phone, it actually, it, it, right, it goes into your eyes and it disrupts the REM, the rapid eye movement yeah. sleep that you have. And so with that, it ends up that you don't get this regenerative, deep, deep sleep that you need. So sleep, water, eating the correct foods, and also working on your stress levels and, and bringing those down. So That's as tough. I was mentioning, the cortisol. So focusing on your happiness every day. And I always tell people to do a gratitude log because doing a gratitude log every morning will help you find more happiness and with that, you will start to see bigger changes in your body, in your mood, in your sleep. So all of those. <laughs> uh, we got a qu nice question here. Here. What's the role of drinking enough water to weight loss? What's the role of drinking enough water to weight loss? Well, it's needed. So there's, there's a saying that says your body can last three minutes without air before you go brain dead. And we, we tend to prioritize breathing as like the last thing because it's involuntary. It just, it just happens, right? But how often do we sit there and we go? I think not at all. Right, right? like not often. So th the actual breathing you need the most and we do the least amount of it because it's like, oh, well, it just happens naturally. On the other side, you can last three days without water before you die. So three minutes without air, three days without water, and at least three weeks without food. And yet we uh -huh. prioritize food as, oh my God, I'm going to die if I don't. Yeah, I know. No, you need water. Also abundance. Like back in the day, they always say you should be like the caveman, like you eat like, you know, that like from the ground and the soil. And I think it's exactly. Saturated. Yeah, it's very unhealthy. I have another good question here. Yeah. Um, this one. What's the three best foods that can help and aid in fighting acne? Ooh, great question. Okay. Um, 
I mean, there's so many, but the three best. Actually, I have a, tr I have a, a question for you. Let's see if you can get it right. Sorry. <laughs> what is the worst thing? And I'll answer this question, but what is the worst thing that you can put in your mouth for your body? Sugar. Sugar? Sugar. Okay. Yes. And this is a semi trick question. The worst thing is negative thoughts. That's actually very true. So because what happens is when we have a negative thought, and the reason I say this is because cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. No, I mean, yes, and, but we're, we're talking food. <laughs> yeah. So, so the, uh, the, the reason that it's, it's negative thoughts is that when we have a negative thought, we automatically go into judgment of self. So let's say I have a glass of wine or three or I drink a whole bottle, right? Or I have a, a whole cake to myself, or I eat a whole pizza. Well, yeah, that's not good for you. But what's worse is me saying, oh my God, I shouldn't have done that. I'm going to be fat. How dare I? That was terrible. You're a bad person. Because the very fact of that thinking actually puts your body into fight or flight. It increases your cortisol levels. And when your body goes into fight or flight, so your sympathetic nervous system kicks off and goes alert, alert, alert. And this happens from one thought. This, when we check our phone and we see all these notifications, your, your body and your brain is hardwired to go, okay, I need to search for danger, danger, danger. And so what happens is when we go into fight or flight and our, the sympathetic nervous system, our digestion stops. It literally stops digesting whatever food you just ate. So if you're stressed out and you're binge eating, you're getting a double whammy of yes, all the sugar, all the salt, and you're no longer digesting, which is why when you're like, if we're binging and I went through years of this, it's like, no matter what you do, it doesn't, you know, you can't lose that weight. And that's because of this fight or flight and the cortisol. So trick question, but to answer the question of, so first your mindset is the, the most important thing, even for acne. Now, in terms of food, again, colors, having your really bright, colorful food. So I'll show you guys this, like when you like those colors, you want to think, and I'm not seeing very specific foods because all the different colors have different nutrients like beta carotene and lycopene from tomatoes. So beta carotene's in, in um, oranges and is in carrots, right? And beta carotene is amazing for the eyes. We know lycopene is amazing for the skin. So yeah. ginger, but it, ginger, turmeric, and water. Those are going to be, because right. ginger and turmeric are really anti-inflammatory and they're gonna help to, to reduce that inflammation in the body and that excess heat. And then when you add in all those colors and you drink lots of water to help flush the system. Just... Yeah, so th that, that'd be my answer. Okay, I have another question here. What is this one? What I oh, this is a question that like, you, I think you need to do a one-on-one -on -one with her. Does walking a sport enough to strengthen all the body mu muscles? Nope. Unfortunately, it does not. So the reason being that walking does not tone your body. We need to be doing things that are actually using our muscles. So like push-ups, right? Squats. And they don't need exactly. to be, you don't need a gym. And especially, you know, with Corona, I haven't been to a gym in what, four months. I do body weight exercises. So plyometrics, you can Google what a plyometric is, but it's just, it's using body weight for things. Um, so like burpees, squats, push-ups. Yeah. You can do high intensity, intensity cardio of, of sprinting, that sort of thing. Yoga is another amazing one because yoga actually lengthens the tendons Long and the muscles. Pilates. It elongates Pilates and it strengthens everything. And so walking is amazing and it's good for the brain and fresh air, but it's not going to like shrink your body. You. Your yeah. Body. yeah. So you definitely want to focus on things like yoga, Pilates, plyometrics, push-ups, sit-ups, uh, burpees, squats, things like that this one what's the best thing to do when we are bloated great question do my detox, <laughs> <first>. <laughs> do detox. 
So I, guys, it's I, also I, so easy to actually, يعني, I'm going to say this in Arabic, مرة سهل تدخلوا للديتوكس detox حقها. It's an application. It takes one minute. دقيقة واحدة تشتروا. It's very affordable. مرة سعره حلو. I'm just telling the ones that don't speak English. يعني حقيقي لازم تشتري. هي خمس أيام ومرة سهلة. So it's a five-day detox. Um, and it's very easy to use and actually get the, the whole system because it's actually online and it's uh, easy. Yeah, so it's, they it's follow your five-day detox for the book. Five day, right. So five-day detox, it's available on iPhone and Android um, and in book format. So now let's say you don't want to do the detox for whatever reason. You can A, drink more water, B, get more sleep because most people are not getting enough sleep. And when you don't yeah. get sleep, your body doesn't digest the food. And when your body doesn't digest the food from stress and not enough sleep, you get bloated. The yeah. other thing as well is we tend to eat all of these different foods, big portions, all at once, very quickly. And so slow down, try to not, and like, you just, you don't want to mix too many foods. So there's a lot of things that go into it, but in terms of actual bloating, apple cider vinegar is a really good one. Lemon, so let warm lemon water in the morning is going to be magical for you. And having something like a green smoothie every single day is also going to be really good for bloating and in, in, indigestion. Okay, that's great. There's another one here. Uh, I don't... Best advice for a college student. I'm not sure exactly what advice you're looking for. <laughs> I think it's how to eat maybe in college. Because like, I got yeah. the freshman 15. You know, well, do you know what it is? We're all gaining the the uh, the the COVID COVID kilos or the quarantine fifteen right now. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's the new thing. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're if you're in college, it's everything that I'm talking about and focusing on colors. That's water, sleep, and colorful foods. That's what if you, like yeah. if I can just keep drilling in one thing, that's it. And maybe you can even say that in Arabic so that people yeah. understand. Actually, they asked me, فهي بتقول إنه أهم شيء بالنسبة لكم من الطرف الألوان الأكل اللي تأكلوها. Colorful foods ومية, right? Water and colorful foods. And what is the third one? And sleep. Sleep. والنوم. النوم أهم شيء لحياة أي شخص عشان يقدر يحافظ على حياة صحية. This is a really good question. It's actually a friend of mine. Should we eat seasonal food only and food native to lamb? Oh, yeah, super awesome question. So it's hard. <laughs> Here's what's funny. It's hard to actually know what's seasonal anymore, right? And it's hard to know what food is from where because it's mm -hmm. like even the oranges that are grown here in, in America are shipped yeah. elsewhere. And, and the, the, the oranges are this big right now. <laughs> right. And like things that are grown, like oranges that are grown in Mexico are shipped here. And you're like, huh? So yes you should absolutely eat as much seasonal as possible and let me break that down what does that mean so and obviously for like you guys it's it's your temperatures are kind of yeah. hot and hotter <laughs> as far as i'm aware it's kind of like florida here that being said in the hotter months wherever you live whenever it just gets a little bit hotter than normal you want to be eating more raw vegetables. So more salads, things like watermelon, cucumber, um, basically fruits, a lot of fruits and a lot of just uncooked vegetables. Yeah. Um, and that's because they have high water content in them. And so it becomes very, your body needs that for the quenching to cool you down. Um, and then in win winter months or more colder seasons, you want more cooked foods. So you want stews and casseroles and stir fries. And you want to be doing more things like cooked yams or cooked sweet potatoes. And in terms of eating things that are locally grown, 100%. 100%. If, you live, yeah, if you live where there's a farmer's market, go buy the food at the farmer's market. Because if you're going to grocery stores... That, you don't know, you know where they're coming from. Exactly. Yeah, you have no idea really. Another question here. I got a, this one. Being vulnerable is powerful. Tell them a funny story of you. Funny story of you first starting off. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of stories. I don't know how funny they are. 
Um, being vulnerable. I mean, I, well, I don't know if you mean in terms of my relationship with food or with, with business. Let's see. Well, it's not really a funny story, but as I grew my business, I was, I was sued four different times in one year what? by people that I, yeah, sued by people that I, that worked for me, that I paid lots of money to work for me. And then when I realized they were not really working, I let them all go and I fired. I mean, I didn't fire them. I let them go and I got sued by four different people. Oh my God, that's, some, you know something? I always say that America has the easiest way to, you, it basically they facilitate yeah. suing for everyone. You know, it was, it was London. It was London. Oh, it was yeah, London. That's, that's, that's what weird. was so crazy about it. It was like, oh my God. yeah. Yeah. Uh, this lady asked me this question six times in the questions. I don't know. I think you said it, but she just uh, keeps sending yep. messages. So what can I eat for a simple, healthy dinner? And how can I lose weight? What should I drink? I've already answered the how to lose weight. She said drink. water. Well, exactly. you know, water. And then what can you eat for dinner? I, shameless promotion, but seriously, go get one of these books. I have lots of recipes on my Instagram, on my website, it's nikkisharp.com. My books share everything. Yeah. But the, the, the really important thing here is just counting colors, drinking water. Water. I'm going to show yeah. you another nice one here, a nice question. Yeah, we have lots of them. All right, how to manage stress and have a positive mindset. Okay, that's great. Remember I was talking about the gratitude journal. So you really want to make sure that you're doing a gratitude journal every single day. And the reason that that is so important is because it helps us to focus on the positive, even when things were really bad. And it's like Corona right now. We don't know what's happening. People have been fired. People are not making money. They might be evicted. It's, it's a scary time. And so where can you find gratitude in your life right now? Um, so a, a gratitude log, you write five things every day. And I, I've, done, I've been doing this for like seven years. Every single day I write what I'm grateful for. Um, how do you have a positive mindset? The other thing that I do is that I end up, I, I check in with friends so I don't talk about myself. Like I would contact you and say, hey, how are you doing? What's going on? And if the conversation tries to come back to me, I divert it back to you so that you, like all my attention is on you. Because when we're of service and we give to other people and we check in with them and it's not like, oh, I contacted you, but I really want to talk about me. You actually get more happiness when you give yourself to other people. And so I make it a priority to check in with my friends every day, whether it's just dropping them a little, you know, quick note saying, yeah. hey, thinking about you, how are you? How was this project that you had do? How is so-and-so? Um, so those are my two biggest ones in terms of quick, simple things to do. Um, you know, you, you have so many people like here, this one, you, you, you have the protein. Oh my God, so many questions. Nikki, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> um, uh, your protein pancakes here. Yes. Okay. Uh, here's the question. Uh, one second, I'm just trying to put it up. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to put the other one because this one is so. Everybody's asking about water, and we've said it several times. We've said, watch the live again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so We're not going to repeat it. <laughs> this one, your pancakes here. Okay. Thoughts about protein pancakes, even if they're vegan? Well, it's hard to know. I'm assuming when you say protein pancakes that you're using a protein powder, which then let's talk about protein powder. Mm -hmm. I'm not a huge fan of protein powder because protein powder in of itself is not a natural ingredient. It was made, and I say, if it was made in a plant, meaning a building other than your own, and there's more than one ingredient that goes into it, or you can't pronounce the ingredients in it, your body doesn't know how to digest it. So really, really simple way to just understand that. All the, you know, people are so caught up in, oh my God, protein, 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 protein. You need, so the, in America, the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, mm -hmm. has said you need 50 grams of protein a day. All right, that's not actually that much. You can get that very easily through one cup of black beans at, at lunch 
you know, one cup of black beans at night and a little bit of tofu, for example. And whereas people are like, I need, I need meat and chicken and fish and eggs and all of that. So protein powders in of themselves are not terribly good. Are they okay to have once a day? Yes, but they have to be vegan. That, that's like my non-negotiable. If you're going to have a protein powder, it has to be vegan um, because whey protein actually has a really hard time getting digestion in most people's stomachs. So now pancakes. My pancakes in the detox, you do get pancakes. You're not using protein powders. Um, you're, you're, you just use oats and eggs and cinnamon and you're using real ingredients. And if, you know, if I can like, again, share any one thing, it's I'm telling you go as natural with your ingredients and what you put in your body as possible. Because if you cannot pronounce an ingredient, your body does not know how to digest it. That's a so. very good point. I'm going to take the last question because they're not stopping. <laughs> and then you can actually contact me. <laughs> We're going to have to do another one. We will another do one. another live. Uh, this one is about uh, cons and um, here it is. I don't know how they're going. I'm not really used to this whole thing. Here, this one. It's wasting... Organic versus non organic Okay. <laughs> I love that you're doing this. I've never done this on my life before. Actually, I'm new to it, but I'm getting so many questions on the side. I usually don't get this much because I think people are waiting for you. So there's so many yeah. questions. <laughs> All right. Wasting organic versus non-organic. Pros and cons. Should I stay away from non-organic? So basically the question is, should I eat organic versus non? So the answer is yes. You should eat organic as much as possible. Now... There's a caveat to that. I always say, I would, it's like water. People say, should I drink filtered water and alkaline water and all? I say, yes, you should. However, my goal is to get you having two liters of water a day before you start worrying about if it's alkaline or this, because two liters of water is going to be better for you than one cup of alkaline water. It's the same with organic food. Should you be eating all organic? 100%. Is it feasible all the time? No. It's no, more expensive. It's, expensive. It, it's more expensive. So there's the, I do recommend everyone to go look up uh, the, the clean, the, the dirty dozen and the clean 15. So dirty dozen, clean 15. You guys can go Google that. It will give you a list of the things that you absolutely need to buy organic. And like apples need to be organic. Oranges don't need to be organic because you take off the skin. So the, again, the dirty dozen, the clean 15. If you can eat organic all the time, 100%. Here's my non-negotiables when it comes to eating organic. Meat and chicken needs to be organic. If you are not eating organic meat and chicken, just don't bother. Because you're, if you're eating just normal, you're having all of these pesticides and chemicals and hormones, yeah. that are, and hormones that are going into that. And your body does not do well with that. So chicken, meat, eggs, organic. And eggs need to be pasteurized or, yeah, pa pasteurized. Yeah, so, okay, meaning that they get to super run around. Um, and then with fish, it needs to be wild caught. So that, that's the non-negotiable. I would rather having you eat a very colorful diet of food than worrying about organic. So that's my big thing. If you sent me a photo of your food and you had three colors on your plate at every meal, I'm not going to get on your case about being organic. I'm going to only comment, well done, well done, well done. And if you can keep that up consistently, then it's a stepping stone into the organic after. Like, do I eat 100% organic? No but I go based on the, the dirty doesn't clean 15 for the most part. That's amazing. One second, I got here. And then wow. just, I have like three more minutes and then I have to yeah. go. So last okay, few so questions. Basically, I'm guys... gonna let them, the other questions you can ask, basically they can ask you on your page. Yeah, um, yeah. So Nikki has an amazing page and she will answer you directly if you actually contact yes. her. I do. Um, I, I answer every, and so what I do is if you ask me a question, oftentimes I'll then go respond publicly. I don't show your name or Instagram, but I, because then it's like, if you're asking it typically means that someone else has the same question, right? 
but I yeah. do answer every question that comes in. So if you guys have questions that didn't get asked, come Yeah, exactly. Come Please, ask uh, me. Contact her and follow her because most of yes, my followers follow speak me. English anyways. And I'm going to save this live on my IGTV. So Amazing. it's going to be ongoing. But um, the five-day detox is an application. Tell them that where it is, how they can yes. access it. So the, the five day detox, it's a mobile app, Android, iPhone, you can get it, go to the link in my bio, obviously the book, um, you can get on Amazon and bookstores. My website's my name, nikisharp.com. I answer all your questions. I love you all. Thank you yeah, for watching. Thank you so much, by the way. <laughs> and by the way, we need to do this again, because like, you cannot imagine like the load of, you know, the questions I have like now around 18. Wow. <laughs> and they just Amazing. keep coming. They keep coming. So we should out. do it next well, time, maybe it. with just questions. Thank you so much, and Thank you. Uh, have a beautiful yeah, day amazing. in Miami. <laughs> I know. Thank you. I'm going to look at apartments right now, so I'm like, oh, good luck. Good luck. I know you're go. But there, thank so. you. This, this was amazing, and I'm grateful. Definitely, for you and, and I want to put you in touch with my friend who lives there, me, 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 me malicious, Miriam. Yes. she's a yoga instructor there, so I really want to put you guys in touch. Please do. I love thank that. Thank you. Okay. Bye, Take honey. Care. Beautiful night. Bye. You too. Bye. اه اوكي خلص البث مع نيكي ان شاء الله عجبكم الموضوع اللي هي كانت تتكلم على الصحه وطريقه الاكل بطريقه معينه واقول لكم شيء بصراحه يعني اعرف انه انا فاتحه تعليقات وكثير ناس دائما يقفلوها ام ديفنت يو سيف ذا سلايد في اشخاص يدخلوا اللايف هنا يعملوا شوشره ويكتبوا كلام بذيء يعني لما يكون عندنا ناس ضيوف من الخارج واحدة أمريكية جاية لأول مرة تطلع في اللايف حقي ونحن نبي نوريها انه احنا كالسعوديين مرتبين وكلامنا جميل وبلدنا حلوه زيارتها المفروض احنا نكون احسن صوره لبلدنا فلما يكون في اشخاص في اللايف يكتبوا اشياء كذا مو حلوه والالفاظ بذيئه جدا عيب حتى لو ما عجبكم الموضوع ولو ما فهمتوا اللغه هي امريكيه ما تتكلم لغه عربيه فمفروض انه احنا نرتقي حتى لو ما عجبنا الموضوع نخرج نروح نخش بث ثاني في لغه عربيه هذه وحده اجنبيه وان شاء الله يمكن اقدر اترجم لكم اياها في المستقبل خلينا دائما نكون في أي لايف يكون في شخص فيه راقيين نوري صورتنا دائما عند الغرب بطريقة جدا جدا يعني لارج قوية فللأسف في ناس كثير هنا كتبوا أشياء كده بذيئة وتفشل ولا تحت حلوة ولا فوق مدري إيه يعني إيه الكلام الفاضي ده إحنا كبار إحنا أنا ماني زعلانة إنه هذا الشيء ما حيضايقني بس يفشل إنه إحنا ك إنه إحنا كده عاملين مو حلو يعني هي أكيد تخلي ناس يجوا يشوفوا بعدين الترجمة يعني مو حلو كده يقولوا عننا إحنا إحنا دائما لازم نكون واجهة حلوة للبلد اللي إحنا فيها بالذات إنه دحين فتحنا السياحة ونبى نستقبل أكبر عدد من الناس اللي يجوا يشوفوا بلدنا وانا لما اتكلم عن السعوديه اتكلم عنها بفخر انه تعالوا زورونا وتعالوا شوفونا انا مو الاقي كلام زي كذا في اللايف ف بس الست هذه كانت جدا فاهمه عندها معلومات جدا شيقه ومفيده لاي احد عنده مشاكل في البشره في الاكل ادفايس صحي على كل حال انا ما هذا تنمر او اللي هو انا اشوفه هذا صغر عقل وعدم احترام اشخاص قاعدين يتكلموا في مواضيع مفيده كعرب ومسلمين على قول الاخت انا الاخت انا المفروض احنا دائما نكون الدين معامله والدين هي كله عباره عن انه الخلق خلقنا كيف انه احنا نكون اخلاقنا راقيه انا قاعده اتعب وهذا حقيقي ما هو اي شيء مدفوع هذه ولا دعايه ولا شيء هذه انا بس قاعده احاول اوصل المعلومات فاتمنى تحترموا ذا الشيء وإذا ما عجبكم البث بس اطلعوا آه بس أتمنى نكون كلنا أنا ومتابعيني وكل أحد دخل اللايف واجهة آه للأشخاص اللي أنا بستضيفهم من برا فشكرا على وقتكم دايما وأشكركم آه وبس آه وأتمنى الله يسامحكم على المسجات المو حلوة هذه اللي تفشل بس أتمنى تاخذوا كلامي كأخت وزميلة وفرد من عائلتكم ولا وبس هذا هو يعني فعلا ابغانا نكون كذا واجهه حلوه مش كذا كلام زي كذا بس اللي بدي يعني بس خلاص تصبح على خير عندي لايف مره يحمس يوم السبت مع دكتور كيو من لوس انجلوس هذا اكبر دكتور تجميل 
في أمريكا مختص في شد البشرة وشد الوجه مرة مرة مشهور بس هو ده أتمنى أنكم تحضروا لايف يكون تسعة ونص يوم السبت أنا بقرأ وبتكلم في بحوث شوية فحقيقي أتمنى تحضروا هذا اللايف وأتمنى يكونوا اللي يتابعونا راقين في هذا اللايف زي ما قلت عشان يكون واجهة حلوة وشكرا لاستماعكم وأشكركم لمتابعتي ودعمي الدائم والله العظيم ولا ما هو عاجب حسابي أتمنى بكل أدب وبكل ذوق تعملوا أنفال وأكيد هتلاقوا شخص يعني يناسبكم أكثر أنا في النهاية شخص ما أقدر أرضي الجميع وبس وإن شاء الله يبغالي أعمل لايف مع كثير ناس إن شاء الله أنا متحمس أعمل لايف مع كثير ناس Thank you so much منا Thank you all for liking my lives and شكرا ولعلمكم ترى أي شخص الآن يتنمر في السوشيال ميديا مرة سهل أتابع حساب ومرة سهل أرفع عليه شيء الآن فانتبهوا لأنه دحين الواحد إذا فجأة بس زعل يقدر يأخذ سكرين شوت يتابع بال... بالنيم ويعمل لينك ترى صارت ما هي صعبة أنه الواحد يوصل للأشخاص هدول ما هي صعبة أبداً في أبليكيشنز كثيرة آه شكراً مع السلامة